want to say thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. You'll notice that a lot of the content, such as Mute's fresh new Tims, are skins you've never seen before. That's because these come from the new Shadow Legacy Battle Pass, which will be available from the 10th of September to the 19th of October. Get yourself some free cosmetics like MMA Finca by just playing some Rainbow Six Siege. If you're interested, you can see the Battle Pass in detail at the link in the description. I had a hard time picking my favorite piece, but I think Mute's Tims in combination with the Swamp Trooper getup might compete with my Mute Elite skin for sure. So dudes, in this video, I'm gonna show you some defensive setups on Chalet so you know what to hold on defense and know what to take on attack. What typically happens in a map rework consists of extensions of claustrophobic lanes and rooms and often closing up problematic angles. Chalet definitely still feels like Chalet, but I won't get too upset when I see it in queue anymore because now it seems like there's a way to actually get into the building and there are decent spots in the building to hold if the attackers get inside in the first place, which was the opposite of the old Chalet. The biggest difference between Kitchen and Trophy is that Kitchen and Trophy is no longer a bomb site anymore. Instead, it's Kitchen and Dining Room because one of the bombs from Trophy has been moved over to the Dining Room. The Kitchen Hatch has been moved from over here to over here. A drone hole that used to be over here is now over here. These windows have also been boarded up. This hatch is still here leading down into Big Garage. This hatch still leads down into blue, but that's a little bit different. Some of the more drastic changes to the map have taken place here. Basically, and this is across the board on a lot of parts of the map, a lot of the windows have been boarded up. And I'll show you which windows specifically make some parts of the map easier to hold as a result of this. Obviously, kitchen is a lot more easy to hold as a result of this being reinforced. You don't really have to uh, worry too much. When you're playing inside of kitchen, you're not really going to be contesting this part of the map anymore. The first thing you're going to notice that's different about this site is that uh, one of the bombs has been moved over from Trophy here to the dining room. This is a pretty good change for this site because holding the Trophy bomb was pretty difficult as is. You had these big windows behind you that made it pretty much impossible to watch your back when they opened those up. And you didn't have a lot of escape routes. Like you could play here close to the hatch and then maybe you had a way to like rotate out. But this wasn't, a, this wasn't a really safe bet most of the time. So typically what would happen is you would just kind of chill here. You'd try to play this window. And if your ADSs ran out, you'd get frag grenaded like pretty much right away. Okay, I'm recording this again because the file that I did have got corrupted. Also, my cam link broke. So that's why I'm on this crappy webcam right now. Oh, I'm on the wrong site. Okay, now we're on the right site. So I think this is going to be an important position of control for the defenders in dining room. Getting access to fireplace for the attackers is pretty much going to allow them full access to the site. I think this is going to be, quote, the main wall. I don't really know about reinforcing these yet. I think the jury's still out on that. Maybe you can do a mirror setup here. Put a reinforcement here and then have a mirror. The rotates here are a little bit tricky, I think. We'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, you're not going to be... Unless someone's going to be playing in Trophy, which I, I really doubt. I mean, maybe I can see... I can see the advantage of keeping control of Trophy just so they don't get these walls here. See, because if these walls are open, then they can look towards uh, the B-bomb from there. The issue is that if you're going to make a rotate here, if the Roamer is playing in this room, he might as well just rotate out of this. So I think reinforcing this wall is going to be uh, dependent on what the strategy involves. I think you can safely rotate over where you're used to making a rotating trophy. The kitchen hatch is moved like I showed you earlier. Here it is. I think it'd be a good idea for a smoke to have a standing rotate here, or at least a hole that he can use to throw smoke grenades over. Maybe something like this. You can put a deployable shield here. Something I forgot to mention, you can impact trick these walls, as well as the trophy walls over here, and the main walls. If this is left unreinforced, uh, somebody can shoot holes in this and then get control uh, looking into B from these doorways. So I think this is going to be reinforced most of the time. This site, I think, is going to have the most amount of flexibility in terms of what you can do just because the way uh, the walls are rearranged. But generally speaking, I think this is what it's going to look like. If you choose to forego the trophy walls, 
you can reinforce these walls here instead because if they get these windows here, they can look towards kitchen. And I think this is a pretty strong power play for a trophy take into kitchen. Let's say you're the bomb guy and you're planning here. And then you have a guy watching the doorway there. This guy can also watch people rotating into the kitchen. So if the bomb is down and you're just holding it, this is a really good holding spot. Okay, higher resolution. Greg will show you the rest of the sites in a red shirt. Snowmobile garage is, for the most part, almost identical to how it was on the old chalet. The big changes come from how wine was set up. So one thing that I think a lot of people are going to get into a bad habit of, um, and this is something I discovered the other day, is they're going to try to make what was the default rotate here um, to hold snowmobile with maybe like a mirror or something. The problem with that is that angle from the blue door. So more often than not, I think the rotate is, uh, is going to go here. It's probably going to be a reinforcement here as usual. Patch drop situation here in connector is almost identical to how it was. Wine doesn't consist of this whole weird kind of uh, sectioned off portion of the map where it kind of jutted out like a big rectangle over here. This is how it looks now. This is like the trench wall. There's no longer a million walls here that you have to reinforce. There's just these two and then the rest of it is, uh, is brick. This hatch will be reinforced nine times out of ten. And then you get the snowmobile garage here. So that'll typically leave you with one reinforcement left. I thought about whether or not it would be impossible to do like an extended hold. Maybe you take these walls off and then you pocket that wall so you would have four left. You could go down here to big garage and then reinforce all the walls here in, uh, in big garage. And then all you really have to do is contest uh, this entryway here and then uh, keep people from getting control of the site by coming down here from main stairs or by trench. More often than not, I think people are going to do something along these lines, though. But the reinforcements aren't really that different. The layout is a little bit less congested. And of course, there's this blue rotate here. Blue is no longer this hallway that just goes like this and then just stops. There's also an angle that you can kind of, you can rotate off of if it gets too hot. At the same time, you can also get shot in the back here if they get wine control. So you can get pinched here pretty easily if you're not paying attention. So it's like a nice connector to have but it works both ways. One more thing I want to show you. Let's go up to the master bedroom. This is going to be really easy to do if you're a uh, buck or sledge or anybody with breaching charges. You can actually get an angle all the way down into the A bomb site if you're buck. So you can shoot this out, right? All of this you can shoot out and then look at that. Uh, it's a little tricky to play because you're literally just looking like straight down and you there's a certain point at which you can't like move your mouse down anymore. But this is literally like like a two level whole set of holes that you can make into the site. I think this is this might be a little bit gimmicky, um, but I think there's some benefits to it. It'll keep people from playing the A-bomb specifically, like they can't play right behind it. Again, a lot easier to do with Buck, uh, just because he can shoot down uh, from up top. Of course, if you're Sledge, you can just, you know, go wang bang a lang and hold it from here as well the top floor section has been extensively modified as well there's this whole connecting kind of piano room here with a wall that people can play behind to keep people from pushing up uh here by the hallway outside library now there's a window here there's a window here obviously leading into bathroom that hasn't really changed but what used to be the master bedroom balcony has been turned into this. It's been turned into this whole room here. And the way that you get into master, it's no longer just a matter of opening up the door. What used to be the door is basically this wall now. Now, the reason I'm playing castle is because this site is a little tricky to set up, and I think he can help you with that. I think these reinforcements are going to be pretty common. But what's interesting is this whole connecting kind of section here. This is a, this is a closet. This is like a walk-in closet. And if you take bathroom, and you open up this wall, you would think it would give you access into the B-bomb, but it doesn't because there's a hard wall here. So with that in mind, what walls would you open as an attacker? You try to open up these. So naturally, I think these are going to be reinforced. And I think most people are going to use this as a connector to the other side of the map, but it doesn't lead them directly to the A-bomb. It leads them, as you can see, into piano. But if you shoot this open, then you get exposed from that window, unless you reinforce it. Let me get the big reinforcements out of the way. So this whole section is kind of weird. Let's get the rest of these reinforcements down. 
These walls near K9 window are typically going to be reinforced. K9 is very different. These windows are boarded up and only this one remains. But let's go to the A bomb site. We want to make a rotate into the B bomb, but where should we put it? We shouldn't put it here on this wall because if somebody goes here from K9, then they get to pretty much, they get a free angle. So I think the rotate should go here instead. Not as easy to contest, right? You don't have as much cover. You can get a pixel angle here if you play it right. This you have to extend out a little bit. In fact, I'd go as far as just reinforcing this whole thing completely. Because you can play really far back and maybe have an Asher as Ophia and then see as far back all the way to that end of B-Bomb. I think the rest of the reinforcements are kind of whatever. You can castle off this to make your rotate a little bit easier. Big window is going to get open nine times out of ten, so maybe you can forego a castle barricade and make your bathroom hold a little bit easier. Bathroom control and solarium control on this map are going to be very strong because that's basically what's going to allow people to have access into the, uh, the B-Bomb. And as for the other reinforcements, it's kind of up to you. You might want to reinforce these as well. Reinforcing these would also be a good idea. Maybe reinforce this just so they don't have an angle from library towards the office. So this site is a little weird. Uh, it might take you a little bit of time to get used to. I'm kind of iffy on whether or not it's a good site or not yet. The thing is, is that there's not really a lot of plant spots. I think if you're going for a B take, you're going to have to rely a lot on smoke grenades. Your A take is probably going to be your safest bet because there's more cover for the attackers to play behind. The bar is very different than how it used to be, and that's because a lot of the walls that used to be soft walls are now just part of the foundation of the building. I think we're gonna see holes from the B-bomb to the A-bomb like this. I think a mute is gonna be very powerful on this site. I don't think thermite's gonna be too good on this site because a lot of the reinforcements, the good reinforcements are gonna be farther away from the attackers. What you're trying to do is protect your roamers in the top floor mainly. There are a whole bunch of these soft walls here on library. If these aren't reinforced, it's very difficult to play the top floor. A mute jammer and a mozzie combo to keep people from getting droned out is going to be very strong. There's two hatches in the library. You can make holes in these soft floors as well. That look down into this entrance here. You can make some holes here to look towards this barricade. Some rotates for your teammates might be a good idea. Make a hole here, and you can look down to the main door of Fireplace. As you can see, the bar has been spaced out quite considerably. Reinforcing this wall is going to be really important because this whole hallway is literally just a connector for people playing in A that want to, like, deuce out and then play behind the bar, probably. I'm kind of iffy on reinforcing these at the moment. I don't know how useful this is going to be in practicality, but it might be better than nothing. If you have a castle, you can castle this off, and then you pretty much don't have to worry about your right side if you're holding A-bomb. And the last reinforcement, I'm pretty sure you can just put it wherever you want. But as you can tell, pretty much the most extensively modified parts of this map are the wine cellar and basement, uh, kitchen and trophy to a pretty good extent. Uh, most of the bar and the game section has this connecting hallway now. If this video helped you get around the new chalet a little bit better, like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see if I adopt a similar format for my map how-tos coming very soon. Thanks again to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Like I said before, the Shadow Legacy Battle Pass is available from September 10th to October 19th, so if you want a pair of night vision goggles, well now you can have them. And yes, Sam gets them too. Check the link in the description, and thanks so much for watching. Deuces. Yeah.